Hello and welcome guys. In this video session, we are going to see how to implement Blazor Strap, a bootstrap for component for Blazor application. In my previous session, I saw how to use Matte Blazor, a material designing component for Blazor application. If you missed that session, I will give the link on i button. Please check it out. For today's session, I created one Blazor server application. Here I am going to implement Blazor Strap, and I am going to follow the Blazor Strap website. I will give this link on the video description. You can also follow complete reference from this website. So we need to add Blazor Strap NuGet package. Go to our Visual Studio. Stop the application from running. So right click on the application. Manage NuGet packages. Here we need to search Blazor Strap. Select this one, 1.3.3. Click on Install. Wait for few seconds. Okay, it got installed properly. Save the application. Close the NuGet package window. Next step, we need to go to our import dot razor. Here we need to add one using statement that is using Blazor Strap. And we need to go to our startup dot cs. We need to add here like services dot add Blazor Strap. It's not coming, so we need to add using statement same using statement in our startup.cs file rebuild the application first then we can do services dot r you can follow this complete so in the server side we are using services dot r bootstrap css in our startup dot cs so copy paste this one okay next we need to go to our host dot cshtml file and we need to add to javascript reference so go to our underscore host dot cshtml after the framework blazor dot server dot js add these two javascript reference one is blazor strap dot js and one is boots blazor strap slash popper dot mean dot js our configuration has done Let's go to our index.razor pages where I'm going to implement our bootstrap component. So for using bootstrap component, you can follow this reference. So I'm going to use button now. So for button, these are the code. Normally in our blazer we are using, so if you go to counter page, it's only button. But if you go to bootstrap button, it's BS button. And the color we can the same thing like primary secondary success color will come run the application while loading this while running this application meanwhile you can subscribe to my channel so that you can you will not miss any of the future updates so you can see all the bootstrap design came here right so Let's go to drop down. You can see the drop down values, drop down source code. So these are the drop down source code. Copy paste this to our application. Give some separator here. Okay. Rerun the application.
So these are the bootstrap drop down. So Blazor strap help us to create our Blazor application a good looking and attractive one. So let's go to pop over. Okay, for this pop over, I I have used this one popper dot min. So copy paste this complete. Source code. Go to index. Add a separator here. Add some code as it is given. So we can. Use through programmatically, right? Is open, is open is our boolean value. Rerun the application. So it is showing some. Unable to cast it on string time. Okay, no need of this code now. For now, let delete this code. I don't need this on click event for here. Okay, in this way we can use our all the bootstrap component. We have models also. So for model we have this code. Use this model code completely. Guys, I am taking reference of this bootstrap.io document so that it will be easy for you to follow. Okay, rerun the application. You can see the model pop also coming. Previously, I created to show this model into to using Blazor model NuGet packages. If you missed that session, also I will give the link on i button. You can check it out. Guys, I hope you like my video. If you ended up liking my video, give me a like and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.